Hi and welcome to this episode of Simetrans. Today we should have an introduction to the game and to the season. So what is Simetrans? Simetrans is a transport simulator game based on the same game ID as Transport Tycoon Deluxe. So you're running a transporting company and the goal is to transporting different type of cargo, passenger and mail. And of course you should generate profit. Without the profit you cannot expand the company and building the transporting empire you always have dreamed about. So what can I do in the game? Yes, you're transporting passenger, cargo and mail. And you can transport it by land, sea or in the air. And yes, you can also build tunnels so that you can actually transporting stuff underground too. What is interesting in the game is that you're running this company, new industry comes available and you should extend the company and so on. And you encounter problem which you should solve. And the goal is to constantly expanding your empire and building a bigger and bigger transporting system with more vehicle, more lines and so on. So what is the difference between Transport Tycoon Deluxe and Simetrans for example? One is the graphic. It is slightly different graphic but if you are familiar with Transport Tycoon Deluxe you will recognize this. Quite basic, simple graphic, but it doing its job. But the main difference are under the hood. The algorithms under Simetrans are more advanced. So the route finding algorithms are much stronger in Simetrans. In Transport Tycoon Deluxe, they simply take, all right, the main direction is to the left. So we turn left. And they don't care about if the road or railroad to the left actually taking them to the right position. But similar trans have an algorithm which actually find the route through the network. So this type of infinity loop you have in Transport Tycoon Deluxe don't exist in Simitrans. And the main line principle actually work well. The signaling system in Simetrans is also more advanced. So deadlock in crossing should simply don't occur if you use the signal in the right way. The economy in Simetrans is also more stable. So industry, for example, don't stop to exist. But when it comes cargo and passenger. They have specific goal. It's not enough to just transporting thing in the game. You should also transport it to the right place. Because this mine, for example, have contract with that power plant and that power plant and that power plant. And even that. So if you try to transport, for example, coal to the wrong power plant, they will don't accept the delivery and you will don't be paid. The train will maybe even don't roll because of you try to transporting the stuff to the wrong place. One other thing I like with the new algorithm in Simetrans is the route finding and it not just to road or railroad 
they also find a route through the whole transporting network over different type of transport. So if you have a line, railroad line, down to a harbor, you can load the cargo on a ship and take the ship and cargo to another harbor and load it over to a car on a new railway line. So Simmertrans is both wider and deeper, which give you a long lasting and more intense gaming experience. So what should I teach in the series? Well, there is a number of topics I want to take up and I should don't go into detail on each individual episode because I plan to have little more than 20 episodes. But I starting off with one of the more boring topics, installation and how to set up the game. It is absolutely necessary to have this stuff in the tutorial series because it is still a problem to install Simmertrans on some type of system. So if you have a working installation of Simmertrans, simply skip that episode. The next is also about setup and choosing primarily the map or country because if you take a bad choice here, you will end up with a boring map you probably will be tired of quite quickly. So that also one of the more important things to think over what type of map you actually want. The next plan is to get a more structure in the gaming, introducing good routine, don't move around too much, then concentrating, finish one supply chain, get the money coming in, so don't bankrupt in the company and simply have a good routine on how to deal with the problem in the game. Of course, strategy and tactic. So when we have a good base, we simply move on and start introducing the first simple transporting line. And after that, we move on from the simple thing towards the more complicated in the series. So each episode build little about what you have learned in the previous one. So it's a good idea to actually practice what you have learned. So play the game at the same time as you watch the episode. So if you have watched the episode about road transporting, why not start playing a map with road transporting and after that move on to trains and so on to actually get experience. Because just listen and watch is probably not enough if you want to be a good player of Simmertrans. So what can you as a viewer expect? This is a tutorial series, not a short how-to. So I will bring up what to do, how to do it and why you do it. So the episode will be longer than short how-tos. One reason why there is not so much tutorials and how-tos about Simmertrans is that the topic is quite big. I have made several attempts before to create a series about Simmertrans but failed because of lack of right equipment and lack of experience of media production. So now when I have the right equipment and experience from media production, I have taken on this challenge. However, to actually succeed with the production, I have been forced to deploy production technique for major movie production. That is something which I don't have done before. So this is a new process for me. And it also a more risky but faster way to produce movies. 
So if I sound confused, that is simply because I am confused about the new way to produce movie. But uh, it should be the first time for everybody. The reason why I want to do this series is simple. I like this game and I want to give something back to the SimTrans community. To all of you out there who have participated in the creation of SimTrans and spend time maintaining it and develop it, a big thank you for your time and I hope you continue with this game. I was customer in a company for a couple of months ago, but I stopped to be the customer there because of this behavior. Do you want to be in our customer club so we can spam your email account legally? Well, that was not exactly the question they ask every time I buy something in their shop. But that was what it mean. And this behavior to ask and ask and ask and ask and ask every single time you are in the shop. We actually have a diminishing word in my language. So here we have a culture shock between the American way of doing business and the European. And at this point in the clip, the streaming services normally expect us to ask you to be a follower or a subscriber. I can say this about subscription. Dear Grandma, subscription on a streaming service is not like a newspaper. It don't cost you money. You only say, I like this channel, please give me more of its content in the future. YouTube have made a radical change to the subscription service without notify you as a viewer or us as a content creator. As a subscriber on a YouTube channel, you get update from the channel more often and never, many times several months after the material actually come online. To get the same service as the old subscription service, you need to have notification activated. When you are subscribed and have a notification active, you will get the old version of subscription service and inform about new material immediately. You can also turn on email notification on the settings. That was everything I have to show you. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. In the next episode, we take a look on Windows installation. We go through the theory how the game are actually built with the different package and what are the pitfalls and also configuration of the language.